This is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. The screen, it folds. <sighs> I'm gonna break it. Good morning! We are on the way to check out the Samsung Galaxy Fold, the fixed one. And if you don't know what that phone is, there are three things you need to know about this smartphone. One, it folds. Like, it literally folds. The screen folds. Two, it's $2,000. It costs that much money. And three, when they started shipping it out to reviewers, it broke. And they had to recall it and they had to redo stuff on it. And now it's finally out. So yes, this is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. The new one. The one that has already been fixed. More about that later. And yes, the screen folds. Obviously, you can even see that crease in the shot. With all that space on the screen, you can run three apps all at the same time and multitask like crazy. This also means you can watch your media on a bigger screen like we used to. This phone will also run an app and allow you to use the app even after you've folded the phone over. So whatever you're doing just continues on to the front screen of the folded phone. Feels nice. Feels mm. more solid than I thought it would. Ooh, look at that. I like this because it's, it, it fits my hand better. It's thinner. It's like a chocolate bar. Oh, I love that the, the shutter button is here mm -hmm. because there is no way it's going to fit my hands, right? Yeah. Ah, this is perfect for Instagram, actually, the size. Mm -hmm. On the inner fold, the better to see your selfies with, there is a semi-wide selfie camera. And an even semi-wider selfie camera. But that's not all. There's another selfie camera on the front when the phone is folded because they had to put something on those bezels. But wait, there's more. On the back of the phone, there are three more cameras bringing that to a total of six. There's a normal, a wide, and a zoom camera. You can shoot with the phone open like a tablet like this, as old folks tend to do. And you can also shoot with the phone folded like so. The choice is yours. Ooh. So, oh my gosh. One, I'm such a bad gamer, but another thing is that, I mean, technically if a screen folds, you'd think that it won't be as solid, but it really feels solid. I'm actually surprised. Yes. But still very sucky. Folded, this phone can be used like any normal phone. But as much screen as this phone has when it's not folded, it makes up for it when it is folded up like this because look at those borders. But as oddly shaped as this phone is when folded because of how thick it is on the sides and how long it is, the outside is still made out of glass which means it makes it feel premium, it looks good, it feels good in your hands. Okay, this phone folding doesn't necessarily solve my my hands are small and phones are getting bigger dilemma. Another one of my issues is, you know, big phones don't fit my hand. I need something that'll fit my pocket. So let's see if this works. I mean, it sort of does, right? It fits better than most phones-ish. I mean, but it's still amazing for what it is. A phone that actually folds. 
Years after Samsung has announced that they were gunning for a foldable smartphone, they've actually done it. But it really wasn't without hiccup. You see, a few months back when they first released their review units, the phones started breaking. $2,000 phones breaking upon first release isn't actually one of the greatest things to happen. So of course, Samsung decided to recall these phones and now we have the stronger, better versions. How, you ask? The protective film that covers the screen that folds now extends until the edge of the screen. It's basically covered by these edges and well now no one can accidentally peel off the actual screen which has happened the first time when they sent out the phones these plastic protection caps have also been added where gaps used to be that allowed dirt to get in and break the screen the hinge is also now stronger the gap where the phone folds smaller and there's also a metal sheet that reinforces the phone to make it stronger all in all, all these solutions feel very reassuring. But again, only real life use and time will tell if they actually work. And if or when it does, it's definitely gonna be one heck of a phone. Thank you so much for watching this video. All this is coming to you straight from Aoife Berlin. If you wanna know more about what went down in this tech show and there are more great things, Please check out my Eva Berlin playlist.